Good morning. God, that was a really scary Mary look, that one, isn't it? Oh, I needed some sea. I needed to get back to the coast. So I've driven a couple of hundred miles last night. Let me see if I can find some decent light here. A couple of hundred miles last night, and I'm now in Somerset. Might have to go and find some cider, or is that a bit too cliche? And I've come down to a lighthouse. Oh dear, we've disappeared. There we go. And the low lighthouse at Burnham-on-Sea, or Barrow. And there's another location from here that I'm going to nip up to and have a look at once the tide's receded. It's a high tide today, it's 11 metres, so we should get water, where are you? <laughs> Around the base of the lighthouse, which is what I've been after. I've been looking at this location for quite some time. And I've got a few days off work. I've done a bit of scouting. In fact, I've done a lot of scouting on Google Maps and various photo forums, trying to find out what there is around here. From here, I'm heading further south. I've got half a dozen locations, so not enough time to do all of them, but certainly time to have a good wander around and get a taster. And I've just bumped into three guys um, who follow me on here, so that's really good. And a friend from the photography forum I'm on is parked a few streets down, so I'm probably going to meet up with him as well. So I'm going to get my bag and I'm going to go for a walk. I have no idea where I'm going, but the sea's over that way. See you in a minute. Well, we're supposed to have a really high tide today, 11.29 metres. And I don't think, even at that, it's still going to come up high enough to go around the base of this lighthouse. Which is a bit of a numpty, really. But hey ho. I can't believe how many dog walkers are out at this time of day. It's... Oh, I suppose it's quite late. It's sort of quarter past, twenty past seven, maybe half past. What a beautifully peaceful place. The cloud isn't quite as was described by Clear Outside. We were supposed to have a little slither of low cloud and then a slither of high cloud. So all in all, it's not looking very good. Curious. I mean, if nothing else, it's a scouting trip. You'll not possibly make it out from here, but over in the distance there somewhere is the lighthouse. And I'd really hope to get it with the water around the base, which from the reports I've read, it, over 11 metres is about right. Admittedly, it is another hour before high tide. High tide is 8.29, I believe. So there is still a chance and I'm looking at minimal images. Yes, it would be great if we got lots of sunrise colours, but that's not what I'm in it for today. Today I'm looking at minimal, probably mono, depending on how the light goes. If the light's good, minimal colour works really well. If the light is flat, then it's mono all the way. So I'm just going to hang around here. It's not too breezy. We've got a slight breeze, which Clear Outside got right. Clear Outside, by the way, is one of the apps that I use when I'm planning things. Um, Clear Outside and Met Office, I normally do a comparison on those two for the weather. Clear Outside gives you a lot more detail, not necessarily correctly, but it does give you a lot more detail in terms of cloud cover. Seems like it got it wrong today. Although, I think... I think it did say we were in for heavy cloud right up until about 8 o'clock and then it was going to break. So we'll see what happens. Not been down to this area at all before. And there's a couple of places that I want to get to, as I say, around here. As soon as we've had high tide, I'm going to scoot just back up the road and see if I can find the other location. There's no guarantees. It's actually back to where I've been parked up overnight. And I could have walked here, but as I didn't know the way, and I'm uh, I had visions of the high tide being really high tide and not actually having any beach to walk on. Yeah, it's still too dark, but there's quite an expanse of beach to go at before you get to the water. And I can see one, two, three, four. Oh, it looks like about six other photographers here. So they were probably all expecting the same as I was. So maybe it isn't quite as not good as I was expecting. Right, I'm going to stop waffling and I will catch up with you once I've decided on a composition. 
We shouldn't be too hard, it's a blooming lighthouse and some water. Can't be that hard, can it? <laughs> Got some light on the subject now. One low lighthouse, and oh, there's a Labrador running around here. Where's he gone? He's <laughs> having a whale of a time. Not the slightest bit interesting the fact his mum and dad are calling him. <sighs> well, we have the beginning of some colour just up there. The cloud is beginning to break. <sighs> there's not a huge amount you can do with a composition at a place like this, I don't think. The tide is now covering the base of the lighthouse, which was what I was after. So I took a complete stab in the dark. I whacked the white balance up to 9,090 kelvins because it was ridiculously blue. I've dropped a 0.9 reverse gradum, which is the glass one from Kana Concept, which is a really good bit of kit. I have got a shutter time of, or an exposure time, sorry, of 13 seconds and I'm on F10. I've got the lighthouse to the right hand side of the image. I would show you, but you know how useless this thing is. And where I've positioned it, I'm trying to get. Hello! Sorry. That's no okay. She's go he's gorgeous, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get some separation on the legs so you can see all of them as well as the staircase that leads up the side of it. Because when you. When I first lined up an image, I stood in front of it and it looked flat. It looked really two-dimensional. So I wanted to get a bit of an angle on it, just to show that it is actually a three, I keep losing, a three-dimensional object. Now, sunrising, sunrising? Sunrise is over here somewhere. So my theory, as always, is that in front of us is where the action's gonna happen for color. It doesn't always work, but a fair amount of the time. I'm going to end up putting, at the very least, a six stop on, I think. Because I want a minimal image. With the image that I just got... Yeah, I'll spin you around and try and show you. Hang on. Yeah, it's really not going to work. You can just make out there is a little bit of cloud detail. And although it's moving fast because it's quite thick, it's actually blocky, so it's turning a bit to mush which for minimal is just about damn near perfect. Yes, well, the fleeting colour was fleeting. So I've moved... Oh, we've got blue sky coming through. Woohoo! Now you can see the sun. That ridiculously bright patch back there. I'll get my head out of the way. Is the sun coming through? So I've changed compositions very, very slightly. Where the sand is wet, you can just see that we're getting a little bit of a reflection of the lighthouse. So I've come out in towards the water a bit, and as usual, I have got my sand feet on. And I'm just having you at this, and I am... Too, I was 60 seconds the last one, wasn't quite long enough. As I say, I'm trying to smooth the sky out because it is ridiculously blocky. And the tide is still coming in, so it can't be quite half past eight. I'm sinking in the sand. <laughs> I've moved up to F14, which will again try and slow the exposure time. I've got the 10 stop and I've just put on a, a Lee normal grad, not the reverse. The reflection is there, but it's very, very minor. And I'm going to try for one just close up with the lighthouse slap bang central. Probably portrait orientation. Or as seems to be the case these days, people calling it vertical. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but it will always be portrait orientation to me. Right, that should have cooked. Let's have a look. Yes. Yeah, just getting a very, very slight... Oh, you're on the wonk. Ripple where the, um, the waves are coming in. Just here, the sand is rippling up and that's just being picked up in the image. But I quite like that. There's some quite... Although you can't see it... Excuse me, I'm getting a bit excited here. Although you can't really see it with your eye, where that sun was coming through, it was actually putting some quite nice light on the lighthouse. And although I've changed angles, 
I'm still getting a bit of the 3D effect. I'm sort of side onto it, so it's a V shape as I'm looking at it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's still a bit more 3D than head on. definitely worth the 203 mile drive down here last night but I do fancy a tight on slap bang in the middle portrait orientation image so I'm going to try for that next yeah yeah quite pleased with this little location this will be the last blurb I do here I'm going to wander up to the next location when I say wander it'll be a drive I'm not feeling that energetic this morning and if we get anything there, I'll speak to you then. Viewers images return. And this next image is an absolute belter of a sunset. Um, thank you very much, Les, Les Cornwall, for sending it in. He was on family holiday down in Dorset and driving back past the Dirtle Door on his way back to Lulworth Cove and the sky kicked off <laughs> so he did what every good photographer would do which is sling the car at the side of the road hope to god you don't get clamped and rush across he took the shot from the top of the hill looking out over Bat's head and apparently there was a, there was a large crowd of people there just watching the sky and sometimes it happens that actually you don't need to do anything with the colours. And he says that he hasn't saturated anything on this. It's exactly as it was. He's just lightened the foreground a bit. And it's absolutely gorgeous. We do get some amazing sunsets every now and then. Normally when I'm at work. But hey-ho. So anyway, thank you very much, Les. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>